probably a question I get more than anything else was just talking about confidence and players who struggle with their confidence or um, whatever the case may be with that. Um, sometimes just feeling comfortable on the floor or whatever, you know, from your perspective, what, what would be your advice? Maybe if you have a player that you work with who is, you know, struggles with their confidence um, in games, what's your advice just for improving that or uh, maybe like the process that you would need to go through to, to become more confident as a player? Right. I think confidence is, a, is definitely an interesting topic. Um, I've had my own mental battle this year and I've talked about it kind of on my channel where I think nerves definitely play into that. Um, I think confidence comes from obviously your repetition and, you know, putting in hours and hours of work, but I think it's also not being so afraid to make a mistake. So the first five games of the season, I was like pit in my stomach, so nervous, so just playing so fast. And then it kind of hit me one day and it was like, it doesn't actually matter the outcome. I've already won by playing the game, just have fun with it. And I think just that mindset boosted my confidence a lot because I just started saying, I'm grateful to be out here and I'm just playing the game that I love. So I know I'm kind of all over the place, but I just think a little mindset shift can help with confidence, can help go a long way with confidence. Um, and then for a more literal sense, I think just getting your reps in every day, um, like we talked about getting in more live reps. And also what I've seen people do is say you're in a slump, you can go back and watch a highlight tape of yourself and kind of see, you know what, I really do this. I really can play. And that can help build confidence. Um, I think positive self-talk can also help. You know, a lot of times players will miss one shot and get down on themselves. Get down on the self themselves. So I think, I think, yeah, I think being um being positive with yourself and really, you know, yeah. Yeah, no, that that's that's awesome. And and I completely agree with that. And that's like, especially the first point that you made right there, where it's like not not being so afraid of making mistakes because that's all that the game is. It's just mistakes. Like whether or not the offense scores or the defense gets a stop, it's because somebody made a mistake. So either somebody didn't close out hard enough and a three got hit on them. There is a mistake right there. And if there was no mistakes in the game of basketball, then it, it wouldn't be, it's like a, a paradox. Like there's right. no, you couldn't have a game if there wasn't mistakes involved. So there's hundreds of mistakes, probably thousands when you look at just like the little micro details of every basketball game. And like players will get so caught up over making like a few mistakes in a game. I'm like, you have to understand there is a thousand other mistakes. Even if you made five mistakes, like that's five of a thousand right there. Right. right. So it's just, it's like, it's just how it is. Um, and everything else going with that too, just, relaxing and like just being appreciative of the fact that you get to play right and that you have the ability to be on the floor and that your coaches trust you enough to put you on the floor and your teammates yeah. trust you enough to you know give you the ball or trust you enough to you know even be on the floor with you i think that's such an important shift for players to have um even yeah. even as, even aside from just the you know the live player adjusting how you do drills i think just sometimes taking a deep breath and like relaxing is, is yeah. the best thing you can do. And to add on to that really quick, I think to put it into more literal, literal terms, I think what I did was switch from being outcome-based to process-based. So the first five games, I was so worried about how many points I scored, whether we win or lose the outcome. And then I had a mindset shift and I said, don't worry about the outcome, just focus on the process and just enjoy the game. And I really can't even tell you how much it's helped me. And just now I just go out there and let loose. And obviously you want to win. Obviously you want to score points, but I'm not worried about those little things anymore. I'm just going out there and hooping and that's when you're at your best. So, yeah, yeah, no, that, that's awesome. And I, and I already know, like, cause I talk to my players all the time about confidence. So like a lot of them watch this. So I think what you just said right there is going to be, I think that's, that's great for them as well. 